Welcome once again and uh, welcome back. This is Mark Ellis. Uh, I'm going to go over how to assign grades in Sycamore. And then we're going to look at, uh, I just want to recap something really quick here. As I said before, uh, once you are at this point here, you're at the home page. And you always get there just by clicking on the word home up here. Um, and we went over some of the features in the last couple of videos on school, front desk. And then also I told you there's this a uh, academic thing here that's got it says grade manager. That's not what you want when you assign grades. I just want to go back over that and make sure I'm clear. Just like the last time you're going to click on my school. Okay. And once again, we're going to click on um, my classes. And then this is where it gets tricky. I, I forget this myself when I'm opening this up, so I want to make sure that you understand this. Click on the little house, and then usually another tab opens up over here, okay, over to the right. So make sure that, you know, if it opens up, you're looking up here, that you can see another tab open up because you can still be looking at this. I was clicking this over and over again, and, I, you know, here I am clicking it, clicking it, not noticing. Now watch what happens when I click on it. Not noticing that little twirly thing up there, right? So you want to go to that tab once it's open up. So that's a little confusing. That's where your uh, so it'll open a new tab for you every time. Like I say, you can close it and go back and I'll get back on the second more page and then go and reopen it again. It'll automatically pop open, but sometimes if you have that still open from before, it'll go right to here and it it won't look like it's changed at all. So just to let you know, just double check that this tab is opened up up here. Okay, now we're going to go once again to uh, this link right here that says Gradebook. Okay, once you go to Gradebook, uh, you want to go to Assignments. Remember, we created in the last video an assignment, and we also gave the assignments and the class categories tests, quizzes, classwork, we assign them these values here. They always have to equal 100, right? Okay, so now we're going to create an assignment. We, we already created an assignment last um, on the last video. So this time, we're going to grade it. Let's say that the persons, these people turn their classwork in, and you're going to actually grade it. Uh, so what you do is, you click on this little icon right here, and oh, well, guess what? It opens up another window. Uh, and you can see I have a list of class, uh, you know, of uh, students in the classroom. And uh, this is a neat little function right here. You've got these different things that you can assign to them. So if somebody was uh, missing from class but they were excused, you could put that in there. And then here's their where you put their grade, you know. Let's say uh, my student got a 90 on their, on their uh, assignment. And you could say, you know. Uh, anything you want to in the comment box, you know. Uh, you know, you could even put down the grade average if you wanted to. Okay, so and that way you can go out right on down and do, you know, uh, whatever, you know, assign the uh, the grades that way. Okay, now once you're done doing that, once again, you've got to expand the window. At least you do on my computer, and then you hit update. Update successful. Okay. Okay, so once you have gone into this area here and graded, now these are made up grades. I just made them up, you know, so don't think that these students did anything. So I'm just putting down grades. Okay, so anyway, now there's the status thing up here. And if you put current, graded, future. So currently you're working on this if you want to save it and finish it off later. If you've already finished everything, it's graded. And future is. Um, when you go to, you know, actually have a future grade, you don't want it to appear yet. So anyway, it depends on which of these three you want to use uh, for assignments. Of course, this is for setting a future assignment, right? But anyway, uh, if you click on graded, that's where it's going to appear at on your um, uh, on your list uh, and under your tab. Okay. So anyway, remember to click on this big square here so you can go update, right? Let's say update successful, and then you can close this down. Now, if you go to the current current tab here, you'll see there's nothing here. If you go to the graded tab, that means that's what you've already taken care of. And future, of course, is the future stuff that you haven't graded yet. Okay, now, uh, let's see here. Then we want to take a look at this assignment. 
and it'll give us a list of everybody on here, right? What they've got. Also, interestingly enough, you can do a grade overview, and you'll see the grades reflected here, right in here as well. So this gives you an overview of the grades. Uh, plus, um, this is an overview of the grades when they're all added up and all the rest of it. Okay, so that way you have an overview of the grade and grade summary, so forth, right? Grade overview. That might be a uh, grade overview, maybe uh, each individual grade, where this would be overall the average or whatever. So um, play around with that a little bit and see what it gets you when it averages things up. I'm pretty sure that's what it does. Okay, so when we go back in here, now this is kind of important, and I wanted to point this out, is if you are here, you're on this assignment here, right? And you go, now you want to change the status right here. Move to current, move to graded, move from copy to classroom, what, delete, or you want to delete, delete it. You can do it here, but you've got to do one thing first. You've got to put a check mark in there. Okay. Well, let's we're going to move this over to current because there's a reason why I want to show you this. So we're going to move this assignment over here to current. Okay. Because you'll notice in current, there's nothing there, right? It's no longer a current grade; it's a graded grade. Okay. We're going to move it over to move to current. Now oh, we've got to check mark it, right? They took the check mark off. And then we go to move to current. Okay, it's moved over now, right? Okay. And that's all you basically have to do. Now you'll see it's in the current file, right? But interestingly enough, when you go to grade summary to look at the or grade overview, it won't reflect it here anymore. It's gotta be graded before it gets here, okay? So this uh that tab is so that you can um these tabs, this tab is so that once it's graded, it's already graded and it's done. This is as you are currently grading them. And that way, if you don't finish up, it's still in this tab and you can just add it over to graded later. So forth. Okay. Uh, so that's what that is. And then if you want to delete it, go over here and hit delete. Right? It's no big deal. All right. That's how you do the grades o overall. Uh, just a real brief uh, idea of how you do that. Um, in the next uh, video, we're going to look at a couple of these other things. Plus, uh, we're going to be doing blogging uh, later on, as well as uh, how to set up an email account and put your picture into uh, Sycamore. God bless and have a great day.